Good evening, welcome to a Binding of Isaac run on the Game Wisdom channel. I'm Josh Placer, and tonight I really want to break my three loss streak here. So hopefully we can get it working this time. Here we go, we're going to go random and see who we get. Eve, alright. Eve is not one of the characters I like to start with, just because she has a lower attack strength, as you can see there. Her little trick is that when she takes a hit, that little bird in her hair will come alive and start doing damage. And when she drops to one point of health, she'll enter a curse mode that does even more damage while she only has one heart of health. Alright, holy water. Mm, not good I am to start with. There's a Mark Roth about to come back there with the bomb. Okay. Hopefully we'll get a bomb. Let's see. Ah yes, spiders. So you can see she doesn't start with the keys either, which again makes a little tricky start. Alright, these guys aren't too bad. And we found the exit, or the boss door. But I really want to get that bomb just to see whatever that mark item is. The little tunneling worms aren't as big of a danger as the spiders because they're pretty predictable. Spiders I just don't like because they have such an unusual movement rate. Okay, piercing shots, good. That means that my shots have a chance of going through, I believe, certain enemies. Let's see. As you can see, some of my shots turn like a little arrow. Those are the piercing ones. And there's another Mark Stone, and we got a bomb. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll use it here. Let's see if we get lucky. Alright, two soul hearts, not bad. But I still need one more bomb for this stone. And we're not finding it here, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to make do. Just like with any play of the Bind of Isaac, just because the start isn't as lucky doesn't mean we'll end this way. There's always a chance we'll get some really good stuff that may turn things around. Okay, These ghosts can be annoying because they have a tendency to lead their shots. So you got to be a little careful. And this is where having low damage is not good. This becomes harder to connect. Alright. As you can see, my little bird is up there doing attacks. I could just stay in the corner and not do anything and it will eventually kill him. But that could be boring, so we won't do that. Ah, damn. Again, his little tail before he does his brimstone attack is quick, so you have to be watchful for that. And don't do stuff like that. Alright, dead. And health. Not exactly the best item to start this out with. Alright, we're back in the basement. And there's another Mark Rock to the right. Now the enemy AI pathing is interesting. It will go for the closest path to where you are. So if one path gets blocked by an enemy, it will know to turn around and go the other way. And you can exploit that to let you know where the enemies are going. So, just do this quickly. Again, I need to find some bombs. Nope. You can see the worms can appear anywhere, but they're not exactly hard to avoid. Okay, I think that makes things a little harder. I only we need that item. Okay. 
these things will of course split into two little flies. Okay, we got a bomb. Good. Let's go back here and see what's in that Mark stone. Alright, key and a soul heart. Just what we need. Alright, give me something good. Alright. I believe this is similar to the heart buddy or the devil buddy in a previous game, except this guy will take coins instead of soul hearts. But he will drop something if he picks up enough money. Not the best item, unfortunately. But again, we'll just have to make do and hope for the best. So many golden chests, and we don't have keys for them. Hopefully, this little guy will drop something good. There's another Mark Rock. Man, we are not getting lucky here. Okay. Again, the gray flies will not attack me, but they do count against the room, so I do have to kill them. Alright, we'll just let him blow up. Alright, not a bad fight. This is like the first boss usually you'll fight in the Binding of Isaac. Pretty simple pattern, just keep moving around. Okay. Now his different color means that he has a different pattern than the regular version. Looks like this guy is only going to be spitting bullets out instead of hopping at me. Which is good. Doesn't really matter for this fight, it's just very easy. And the fact that we got here without getting hit should mean we get either a Devil or a Heaven Room, which we'll definitely need for the buffs. If I can get a Brimstone, that would be perfect. As you can see, this is taking a bit longer because Eve has just one point of damage. And again, it's why I prefer characters who have low health but high damage as opposed to high health and low damage. Because it's a lot safer to be able to kill someone quickly than dance around them like that. Alright. What do we get? Alright, regeneration, health up. Off health. Okay, what do we have? Let him take that. Oh, very nice. Okay, that's a devil blade. I think that's the one who takes the soul hearts. But this is what I want. Little Brimstone. This is basically the pocket version of Brimstone. I can use him to charge my shots and do just about the same kind of damage that Brimstone does. So that is a great item that may help turn things around. And it gets by the fact that Eve only has one point of health. So you can see that probably in this room. The only catch is that you have to work off of where he is in relation to where the shot's coming from. It's not going to be coming directly from you. But, it's power is still really amazing. Alright, let's let him pick it up. What he, he's not giving me anything. Okay. Battery over there, but I can't get it. Yep, as I said, this is a definitely a game-changing item. With this bad boy, I can pretty much clear most rooms out very quickly. And since the shot goes through is piercing, makes it a lot easier to clear out bunches of enemies. I don't even need to use Eve atta Eve's attack anymore because of it. Hope that little buddy though will eventually pay off. You only have to watch out for is the few seconds it takes to charge. And as I mentioned, he has aiming things, okay? Man, this little guy's a bastard. Oh ho ho! Uh, rubber cement. I thought this was the eye pack upgrade, which turns your shots into bombs or exploding shots. Not bad. Having your shots bounce off makes it a lot easier to aim, but it's not as good as that explosive shot. Okay, found the treasure room already. We don't really have the money or the keys to do shops though, so we're just gonna have to rely on little brimstone to take care of everything for us. Like I said, you just gotta be a little bit more observant about where he is and where to get the shot off right. Okay. 
but he charges pretty quickly. It's about the same rate as the normal brimstone. Ugh, key, but we can't get it. Alright, we have a four horseman fight deep. Not too bad. Again, brimstone's gonna help out tremendously. Alright, one more should do it. And we got a cube of meat. Alright, Krampus. Maybe we'll get his head as the reward. Remember, he does have his own little brimstone I have to watch out for when he starts to cry. Like that. Ah, damn. Alright, head of Krampus. So, this is being like, this is gonna become like the brimstone run, I think. With that head, it does so much damage that we can use it to clear most bosses easily. Okay, Curse of Lost, we can't see the map, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. If we run anything too bad, we have basically two types of brimstones to use. Alright, good, we got the key. Mm, no more rocks. So this looks like a run where it's really all about the items rather than the character. Alright, nothing there. Okay. Yeah, he gave me pills. Alright, balls of steel, additional soul hearts. Okay. Money, money. Let's see what will, what will give me this time. Oh, key, thank you. Oh, and pills. Hmm. Maybe this little guy's finally starting to pay off. Alright, wait for him to open his head and then hit him with the brimstone. Okay. This could be annoying because of these guys, you can only hurt them when their head pops open. There's one. And having these little things shooting as well is going to make it a little tricky. Right, gotta get that key. Okay. Well, we found the exit. But unfortunately, we still need to find the treasure room. Because if I'm relying on items, I'm going to need every one that I can get to stand a chance in this run. Again, these guys, you can tr try to exploit their AI by keeping yourself mobile and waiting just long enough to be able to get them around corner and then switching your direction. Okay, Monkey's Paw. I think this raises my luck, but again, it's sometimes hard to tell. Alright, Annoying Spiders. Nothing. This time, we have more than enough items to blow open that treasure chest and see what's in there. Alright, more money. Again, we'll let him pick it up and see what we get out of it. Bomb. Okay. Remember, there is money inside these. It's always in the poop piles. Nope. Alright, we're back here, so... I think we missed a turn. I just don't remember where, unfortunately. I think it was right here. Nope. You get used to having that little mini map in the corner. Okay, there we go. Pat. Almost got hit there. Okay, it's gonna be a little close. Oh, the meat. My little meathead gave me some protection, that's what stopped it. Thank you, little meat boy. Well, part of a meat boy. Thank you, another key. I'll grab that on the way back. Okay. Ooh, technology. So now, my tears are lasers, as you can see there. 
and these lasers are piercing. So we are definitely recovering pretty nicely from that, from a crappy start. Again, I would love to get a second brimstone, just do double brimstones on everything. Or actually, triple brimstone, so we count the head. Alright, where was the exit? I think it was over here? There we go. Alright, Gertie. This can be a bit tricky, because you have to play around the enemies that he spawns as well as his tension or pension excuse me for popping out and shooting a spread shot now this variant is not shooting it seems to be just about creating flies which is good up oh, in these little guys this is a lot easier to deal with especially when you have brimstone to just lay into everything and my piercing tears aren't that bad either there we go now, unfortunately, the piercing tears or the laser eye does negate the rubber cement. Alright. And I think so does that. So, unfortunately, some of our items are canceling each other out, but that's not too big of a deal. Curse on the unknown, we can't see our health again. Oh, don't want to fall for that one again. Even with the laser eyes, I'll probably still rely on brimstone to do most of the damage. Okay, where are you going to get me this time? Nothing. Okay, now remember I can blow open these skulls and see if there's anything good in them. But I don't really have a lot of bombs, so we'll just leave them alone. Again, one of the benefits of brimstone. I'm just able to quickly destroy these guys. Okay, what do we have? The pickaxe. Let's see. This lets me basically crush a room full of rocks. Mm, not the worst item, but I think the head is more important for just pure damage potential. Oh, got hit. Okay. Ace of Spades. I think that gives me more luck. Okay. Thank you. Now the only problem though, as you can see, is I'm still not doing a lot of damage. So if I miss with a Brimstone, I'm sort of left helpless for a few seconds. But, this is a great brimstone room, as the shot just goes through anything and everything. Got more than enough keys, so let's see what's in here. Okay. We'll take the soul heart. Ooh, gotta watch out for that. So again, you can exploit these guys by going one direction and then quickly coming back around the other way. Alright. Pride. Alright, not too bad. Store credit. Alright, two of diamonds. I think this gives me hearts. Or it just doubles my money. But still, having full health, I think, is more important. And we'll keep the Ace of Spades for the luck. Or at least I think that's what it does. Ah, damn. Should be almost at the boss room. Alright, this is another great brimstone moment. I can just do this. Eh, that was easy. There we go. I 
gonna try to blow this up. See, if there's any soul hearts? Nope. All right. Hermit will just teleport me to a secret room, but not really thinking there's anything in there for me, in, at least in this run. Okay. And come on. We'll tr I have a feeling this may be a secret room. Let's see. Nope. Okay, it's these guys yet again. But Brimstone handles that. Okay. Let's see. Not sure what this does. I think it raises my damage, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, another good Brimstone use, because these guys are so annoying to deal with normally. But Brimstone's ability to just pierce everything comes in handy. Okay. Definitely want to get all these bombs, because we're almost at the final series of levels. Now I'll probably make more use out of the bombs than I will keys. Okay. Definitely time for a head there. Because these guys can be very annoying when there's two of them. Okay, one should be on its way out. Just want to keep moving. It makes it hard for him to track you when he does his little jump. Like that. Alright, got some money. Let's see what he'll give me. Well, let's try. Oh, tears up. Okay, what do we have this time? Pentagon. Oh, more tears up. <laughs> That's going really quick now. Well. Do I want the Pentagon? Well, let's go for it. Evil plus damage up. And now my shot will cause them to be feared. Nice. I don't know how much health I actually have now. So let's see. Alright, well, whoa, I am all out of normal hearts. We're down to soul, but we got lots of them. Well, this should be very interesting. Ah, damn it. Let's see. I think that raised my attack up. So with the fear shot, it causes enemies to have a chance not to attack. Now I really do want to blow open these skulls for any possible devil hearts they may have. And this full health pill, unfortunately, will not do anything for me. Okay. He dropped a hook. Eve's bird foot. I'm not sure what that does. We'll keep the rage. It's going to be another very interesting run now. I'm all powered up thanks to the mark. We have to be really careful. Ooh, definitely want to keep this. The Emperor is a teleporting item. It will send me instantly to the boss. I can use this on the final, final level to bypass everything. I can just go straight to the boss on the deal with any rooms. So this is definitely a keeper. Alright, let's go for this. More money. Maybe he'll drop something good? Nope. Alright, another key. And what do you have for me? Uh, these guys can be very annoying. But we are now souped up with the power of evil, so they shouldn't be too bad. And again, Brimstone is kicking ass. Okay, that was easy. Now these things, you have to try and bait them if you can. They can be very hard to avoid because of their speed. Alright, 
What is this? Do we get that? No. Let's keep the pills. Alright, a big... F All right. This is probably the worst item to get right now. What this is, is I'm controlling this fly. And I can put it on an enemy and do damage. But we already got so much from my evilness, so it's not really needed. Alright, keys. I'm not sure what the candle and the cord does, to be honest. So really, his, the fly is more of a distraction, unfortunately. Because I got more than enough damage with Brimstone and my laser eye. Joker is a teleporter. I believe this will teleport me to any... To basically a devil or angel room instantly. So, well, let's go for it. Alright. Nope, don't want that. Don't want spiders either, and what's this? Pandora's box. I don't remember what that does. And it gives me a chance at getting items. But again, the head of cramps is just such a useful item. Due to its high damage. Alright, mom fight. The mom leg usually comes down the second you start the level, so you can sort of use that to predict where to move. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard, but I could get unlucky with his with her foot. Or feet, if that's that's a better grammar there. Okay. There we go. And we are gonna go. Uh, yeah, let's go the did I beat the Devil Path already? No, I got close, but I didn't show the Devil ending, I believe. So, we're gonna go Devil this time. And see where it takes us. This run is definitely turning out a lot better than I originally thought it would. And again, that's one of the things I love about the buying of eyes, it's just how unpredictable it can be. Good, we need soul hearts. Don't really need keys anymore. As you can see, my laser eye can cause them to be scared, which is perfect because it will keep them from attacking. Mm hmm. Did I grab this? Tears off. Might as well go for it. Get super rapid fire. Yeah, let us just clear that. I hate those laser eyes. They're just very tricky to avoid. Okay. So each time I hit enemy with a laser, it gives a chance of causing fear, which is perfect. And again, the piercing of my attacks is going to help out tremendously. Okay. I'm going to just move the fly right over there. So maybe it will come in handy. Good. Alright. Daddy long legs. Gotta watch out for his hands and his feet, really. The head will come down, do that. But we got more than enough damage to take him out. Range up. That is the mark. I believe that will let me fly. Well, it's good, but I don't really want to go through three hearts, because that's all my health now, so we won't take it. It's also important to note that Krampus only shows up once per game. So once I kill him, I know every other devil room will be safe. Alright, this could be a pain here. Hmm. 
Where's that last one? There we go. Now again, these little balls follow a set pattern of sticking to whatever solid thing they're attached to, so they're not too hard to avoid. There's the arcade. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Maybe he'll give me something good. It's completely random though, so you don't know until you just keep giving him money. Mm, am I gonna get it? Hey? No, unfortunately not. Don't have the money. Ah! Took that turn a little too hard there. Okay. More bombs. Ah, damn. Good news is I really don't have too many more levels, so I can skip the entire final level. Okay. We'll get lucky. Come on, give me something good. Full health. No, I don't need full health, unfortunately. Again, when we get to the boss, I'm just gonna Krampus him to death, hopefully. Alright, we got some flies, not bad. A lot of flies. It'll be worth to blow up in some of these blobs, see if we find any hearts. Nope. Got plenty of key, so we might as well. This will randomize my stats. I don't know how useful that is right now. More keys. And a battery. Okay. Boss. Again, behold the power of Krampus. Okay, this could be a little tricky to dodge. Oh, crap. Okay. What I'm going to do is go back in here. I'm going to use my key to guarantee that. To get a full Krampus shot. We're going to go down to the hell part. Hopefully we'll get lucky in terms of placement. Alright, these bad boys, we gotta kill them before they break out, or they're gonna cause some trouble. I got a bunch of bombs, so I wanna hopefully get lucky and get some more devil hearts. Okay. At least the brimstone's damage is pretty nice here. Okay, that thing, I gotta stay behind the rocks to avoid it. Crap, crap, crap. Ah. Come on. Okay. Now I am super quick, which is helpful. Again, full health, but I can't really use that. Mm. Oh, crap. Oh. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, at least we got a soul, or a devil heart. Spit. Alright, dead. And again, we want to break open these skulls. Let's see what they have. Two of clubs, bomb. The sun gives me full health, but again, I don't have any health. Oh, but it did let me see the mat. Nice. Well, that sort of tells us where we need to go. We have to go all the way down. Ow. 
Ah, come on. Whew. As you can see, by keeping the guy scared, he can't really do much in the corner. But these leeches are going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. Alright, another horseman, but having access to brimstones trivializing a lot of the fighting. Oh, and we got a soul heart, just what we need. I made a stupid mistake that I should have put it right there to get the skull. Okay. Oh crap. And that fly, I mean, I like him, but he's distracting me because I keep seeing it in the corner of my eye. Okay. Well, might as well grab it. Death will be an instant kill, but we don't really need it. Now here's a little trick. The if you look in the question mark room, it's connected to the to those three rooms. If I go in there, I can use it as a shortcut into the rectangle room on the bomb side, so I can bypass a few of the rooms. So that's what we're going to do. It doesn't make sense to go into extra rooms when we don't need to. Oh, oh, thank you. The bomb blew it up, so we can just skip. Oh boy, we do have to, unfortunately, have a fight here. But again, being able to cause fear and all that will help out a lot. Oh, he gave me a soul heart. Thank you. All right, we're still in this. Come on, brimstone. Remember these big. The black ones with the eyes will explode with a bomb. Okay. Well, it's nice he's giving me full health, but I can't use it. Ah, my uh, evil twin got shot off. Oh no you don't, not that time. Okay. Oh, almost got hit there. And lots of money. Okay. Hmm, well, damage up can help or can hurt. So let's go for the devil now. Where are you? Okay. Because he's feared, he won't be able to do much against me, which is great. Ooh. Remember, when they start charging you, that means they're going to try and do a brimstone afterwards. But we got him. Now for the big boy. Go my brimstone. You can do it. Alright, and then final form, the legs. Or the hands. Just want to keep moving. As you can see, just gotta keep avoiding him. I can use the leeches actually to do damage. that and brimstone is again helping out there we go dead get in here and now for the final area so let's see what we have hmm pills well might as well take it nice how fast I'm shooting that shot now. Eyes. That's a guppy collar. It'll just give me an extra life, but not really that important. So this is where keeping this Empire card is going to come into really good use here. Because normally I would have to search this entire place, fight all the crazy bosses. Or I just do this. Boop. And now I'm at the boss. That was a hell of a lot easier, wasn't it, folks? Alright. I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a win. Okay. I'm saving the Krampus for right now. So I can do this. 
double the damage. Oh, I'll avoid that. Now remember, these purple shots will home in slightly. The head is definitely more dangerous, so you want to avoid him. But the body died. And just like three more shots should do it. One, two, and come on. Three. There we go, boys and girls. Finally got a win for our Binding of Isaac run. So, here is the ending. As always, another mysterious ending for the Binding of Isaac. And that will do it. So, we did. I broke my loss streak. Let's see, how are we doing in terms of items? Still so many more items to be found. And the, I'll probably won't find them in time for the next expansion. So, with that, thanks for watching. We finally got a win and we showcased just how much a run can change with the right items. As always, Please make sure to check out game-wisdom.com for posts and podcasts related to the game industry. Please like the video if you enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel. If you want to keep seeing more of these, as well as other plays and game examinations. And be sure to check out our Patreon campaign, where we're, hopefully, excuse me, where we're hopefully trying to secure monthly funding for Game Wisdom. You can find that information on the Game-Wisdom front page. Thanks again. And I will see you real soon. Take care.